Okay, so um, in this corner, uh, we want to start up uh, Mininet with a tree topology depth of 2, fan of 3. Um, and I've done that here. Uh, then I want to start up the controller. Um, and uh, to start this off, I need host1 to send uh, all the hosts and hello messages into the network. Um, so here I have message type 1, which signifies a hello message. Uh, I'll send this for host1. I'll do that for host2 um, and host 3s as well. So if you look at the controller, the controller uh, now has um, now has knowledge of all the hosts in the network. Uh, and you can see that uh, this handshake, this hello message has been received um, for all, all three hosts. So now what we'll do is that uh, we'll try to subscribe and uh, advertise. So uh, host1 will try to advertise by using a message type 2. We'll send that into the network. Okay, cool. <laughs> Get sent to the network, uh, and then what we'll do uh, is that we'll send a subscription for uh, host three, um, and this will be for um, host uh, uh, two and three. We'll send that into the network. So this should subscribe hosts two and three um, in the network. So now we look at the controller and see what happens. Um, so it finds uh, matching advertisement for the subscription. It uh, finds the paths uh, associated with these uh, these subscriptions. Uh, and what it does is then updates uh, each switch's uh, group tables for this topic. Um, and then it specifies the port numbers that it should be uh, multicasted to. So here is port 2, and here we also see port 3. Great. So now we go to the publisher. Uh, let's say publisher is host 1. And we'll set a publication uh, specified by uh, number four. If we send that into the network, uh, we want to see on host two and three that the uh, packets have been received. So we have Wireshark open here for host two and three, and what we can see here is that uh, host two has received a publication, and also host three has received the publication. So therefore our multicast has uh, been successful. So now let's say um, uh, we want to unsubscribe. Um, we want to unsubscribe to the, uh, message number six, um, uh, host number two. So we'll send that into the network. Uh, the controller realizes that uh, this is unsubscription and then uh, proceeds to find the paths that are associated with this unsubscription, and then removes it from the network. Uh, and obviously sends the group update uh, associated with that. So now instead of having both ports 2 and 3, uh, we see that this table now only has uh, an out port to port 2. So if we send another publication to the network on the Wireshark on host 2 and 3, uh, we should only see a publication received on host 2. And as you see, there's no uh, publication received on host 3. And that's pretty much it.